Did you ever forget something really, really important? I did. I had this one exam, and I completely forgot everything about it. Everything. During that exam, I really felt like an idiot. And I just wanted to be smarter, you know. I wanted to be a genius, like Einstein. So I'm going to tell you exactly how I managed to pull that off, how I managed to go from being an idiot who forgot my exam to becoming a genius and performing like an Einstein. So it all starts with me waking up this morning, one morning with these terrible, terrible hangovers. You know, the ones where you just promise yourself, never, ever again. So I don't remember much from the night before, and I, I'm in my bed, so I, I try to find my phone to see if it has any clues, any embarrassing movies or texts from my friends. So I, I finally find my phone, and I look at it, and I realize uh, my exam started 20 minutes ago. <laughs> 20 minutes ago? I jump out of bed, and I run. I run as fast as I can, and I make it to the exam halls just a few minutes later. Completely out of breath, with the worst headache of my life. So I take a few seconds just to catch my breath, and I, I look through the entire exam hall. It's like several hundred students quietly sitting with their pieces of paper, reading, struggling, trying to do their best. Um, so I, I go get a copy for myself, and I'm really a mess, so I, I go all the way back <laughs> to the back, and I sit down so no one can see how big a mess I am. Um, and then I, I really try to calm myself and just focus. Okay. So I, I open the exam, it's like these pieces of paper with questions on, and I, I read the first line. It says, state by a percent how accurate you believe the following questions to, statements to be. Okay, that seems like something I could do. I, I just read the questions and try to figure out if it's true or not. So uh, I go on and I try to read the, the, the first question, and it says something like, in quantum mechanics, blah, 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 blue, blah, blah. That's not really what it said, but that's how I read it. <laughs> so. I had no idea how to answer these questions. I hadn't studied, and I should have studied. I'd really been an idiot, and... I mean, I'd spent years trying to, to get this degree, and now I would fail this one exam because I, I, I forgot it. What was I supposed to do? This is when I realized there was only one way forward. I needed to pull myself together discard every single drop of ethics and spend what time I had left doing one and only one thing. Cheat! I was going to cheat, 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 cheat! As bad as I could. <sighs> what a great idea. I wonder why no one came up with that before. <sighs> but so, how do you cheat? I, I never cheated before. And I, and I had to figure out how to cheat, like, on the spot. Uh, I mean, the clock was ticking. Hmm. Um, oh, oh, uh, so maybe I could just see if I could spot someone smart sitting next to me, and I could copy all their answers. If that person was smart enough, I would have great answers, and I would pass the exam. So I, I looked around for any smart students, and I realized I recognized everyone from the party last night. <laughs> I was surrounded by hungover idiots, just like myself. Man, cheating was harder than I thought. What do you do? So this is when I remembered something really, really interesting. And it might just be my only shot. So here's what I did. I looked to my left, and I spotted Alice, one of my best friends. She's sitting just a few seats away from me. And I could just see all her answers, so I copied every single one of them. And I didn't even feel bad. <laughs> so 
I mean, Alice was one of my good friends, and we, went, we remembering how many parties we attended together, I was a bit skeptical these answers would be enough to pass. So I wanted to do something better, and this is when I looked to my right, and I noticed Bob, one of my other friends. So the thing is, Alice and Bob are very different. They, sure, they were both struggling with the exam, but they found different parts of the exam hard. So I would look towards Bob and see, was he kind of confident about a question? If he wasn't, I would go and take Alice's answer. If Alice was uh, kind of unsure about a question, I would go with Bob's answer. So I was combining both of their answers into something that would be better than either of their answers. I would be getting a better score than either of them. And I didn't even read the questions. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so, this is when I got greedy. You know, I mean, I was cheating, so why not go all the way? So, uh, I spent what time I had left, and I, I spotted uh, Charlie, Dean, and Eve, and I, I did the same thing, I copied their answers. And I... I even noticed Sack sitting just in front of me. And you know, Sack has this unbelievable ability to take any question you give to him, any question, and he'll answer it dead wrong. <laughs> Every single time. I don't know how he does it. So you might think, don't copy Sack's answers. <laughs> they're, they're, they're terrible, they're useless, they're wrong. But I actually, they, I found quite good use of them. Um, so after I, I combined like Alice, Bob, Charlie, Dean, and Eve's answers, I kind of had like, some decent answers, and then I copied Sachs, and I, was, I just made sure I didn't have the same answer as Zach. <laughs> <laughs> so the point here is, even though Zach might be a hungover idiot who consistently answers wrong, he can still con con kind of contribute. So in this way, I managed to combine a lot of idiots into getting really great answers. So a few days passed, I handed in the exam, and a few days passed. I was over at my friend Alice. We were like watching a movie with some of her friends. Um, and you know, Alice is one of these people, she can't watch a movie without checking her phone every single minute. Absolutely terrible. Um, but so like halfway through the movie, she realizes our exam grades are online. We can take our phone up and we can like figure out, did we pass or not? So we're really nervous, so we pause the movie and we uh, uh, look it up and see if, which grade we got, did we pass or not? And to everyone's surprise, I got the best grade amongst all my friends. <laughs> and I didn't even read the questions. <sighs> Fantastic. So, you know, my friends know me pretty well, and they knew something shady was up. And they demanded an explanation. So I came clean and I explained everything to them. I, I told them, yeah, I hadn't studied for the exam. I completely forgot. But I, I had read about this other very interesting idea about how we make computers learn how to do the things humans can do, drive cars or diagnose diseases. So they were like, what does this have to do with anything? And I said, well, you see, computers are really, really dumb idiots. Really dumb. Just like me and my friends. Um, so, I mean, you don't want something that's dumb to drive your car or tell you whether you're sick or not. If it makes a mistake, you could literally die. So how do we make computers smarter? One way of doing this is to combine idiot computers in a kind of collaborating group. And that's exactly what I did at the exam. I combined a lot of idiot hungover students, Alice, Bob, Charlie, Dean, Eve, and Zach. In the same way, um, people trying to make computers learn, they sometimes use this approach of combining dumb, idiot computers into a collaborating group. So, this is... One of the ways people attempt to make computers learn how to drive cars, diagnose diseases, 
It's how a lazy student like me managed to get the best score amongst all my friends without even reading the questions. It's how you combine idiots into an Einstein. So this ends the story I wanted to tell you, but I want to stress just one point. These problems we're trying to make computers learn how to solve are very, very important problems. If we manage to make computers learn how to diagnose diseases, they might become an invaluable tool for doctors. If we manage to make computers learn how to drive cars, they could significantly reduce traffic deaths. I mean, <laughs> they don't drive drunk, they don't get tired, and they definitely don't look at their smartphones while they drive. So I really want to emphasize, we all win if we solve these problems. I think this often goes unnoticed. We all win if people stop dying in traffic. And it seems making computers learn is a very important tool in solving these problems. This is why I dedicated my career to this area. Unfortunately, I lack co-workers. I lack computer scientists that can help me try to solve this problem of making computers learn. And it seems if we were just more people, we would progress faster. So I'd like to encourage you. If you ever meet a child, you know, these small people, <laughs> it's going to run the world one day, encourage them to change the world. Encourage them to get the skills that will allow them to solve our most pressing problems. Encourage them to study computer science. Then we could just all be idiots working together, me and the next generation. And if we are all idiots, I'll do exactly what I did at the exam. And as you now know, that is exactly how you combine idiots into an Einstein. Thank you. Alexander, thank you very, very much.